We got a number theory problem for you today from the University of Toronto. For n greater than 1, show that 4 to the n plus n to the 4 is composite, meaning we could factor it into two factors that neither of them are 1. So try it on your own, or you could just watch me solve it. Okay, so let's break this into a few cases. The first case is if n is even. That's the easy case, right? So if, if n is even, n is equal to 2k for some k. And then our number here is just 4 to the 2k plus 2k to the 4, right? And that's clearly an even number, so it's going to be composite. It's an even number greater than 1. I mean, greater than 2, sorry. So we could factor out a 2. 4 to the 2k, that's the same thing as 2 to the 4k and then minus 1 uh, plus 2 to the third k to the fourth. Okay, so we factored it. And then we should just be careful that 2 to the fourth minus 1 plus 2 to the third k to the fourth is an integer greater than 1, but it's k is an integer and this is definitely bigger than 1. Okay, so if n is even, this question is easy. But what if n is odd? Okay, so if n is odd, so it's equal to 2k plus 1 for some k, we want to factor 4 to the n plus n to the 4. Okay, and the way we're going to do that, well, notice that 4 to the n is 2 to the n squared. And n to the 4 is n squared squared. OK? So we want to write this as a perfect square. And then we're going to have to subtract something off to make it a perfect square. And then we're going to factor using the difference of squares. At least that's the goal. OK? So if we wanted to make this a perfect square, this is like x squared plus y squared, we're going to have to have a 2xy in the center. And then we're going to have to subtract off the same thing. Right, and so what does this become? This is 2 to the n plus n squared squared minus 2 to the n plus 1 times n squared. Okay? And I'm going to kind of abuse the letters here. I'm going to use some n's and some k's just to make a point, and then I'll switch all the way back to n's. So this is 2 to the n plus n squared squared. 2 to the n plus 1 is 2 to the 2k plus 1 plus 1. which is 2 to the 2k plus 2. And then I'll switch to n here. I mean, back to, to, to k here. OK, and this is a perfect square. Right, this is 2 to the k plus 1 times 2k plus 1 squared, right? And now we have the difference of perfect squares, so we could factor this. So it's 2 to the n plus n squared plus this term. And or times 2 to the n plus n squared minus that term. OK, and then the last thing we need to do is just switch back to the letter that we started with, right? We started with n, so we should end with n. So 4 to the n plus n to the fourth, if n is odd, is equal to 
2 to the n plus n squared plus, okay, this is just n, and k plus 1 is n plus 1 over 2. Right, and that's going to be an integer because n is odd. So adding 1 to it will make it even, and dividing by 2, keep it as an integer. And then the same thing, but with a negative sign. All right, and there you have it. I guess the last thing we should check is that both of these terms are, are um, bigger than 1, but that's not hard to check. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. I'll see you later.